Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. For today's video, the topic of discussion is projection of planes. Now, in this video, we will discuss the category of question in which the reduced shape of the plane is mentioned and the surface angle has to be found out. No matter we are taking question on isosceles triangle here, but the procedure is valid for any type of plane. Let us take the question. An isosceles triangle PQR with base PQ equals to 50 mm and altitude 75 mm has its plane inclined such that its front view appears an equilateral triangle of side 50 mm with one of its side making an angle of 45 degrees with XY line. Draw the projections of the plane and find out the angle of the surface of the plate with VP. Let us write down the given data. First thing, isosceles triangle, PQR base 50 mm, altitude with another name of height, 75 mm. Then you have front view appearing as equilateral triangle of side 50 mm. This is another given data. Then one of the side making an angle of 45 degrees with XY line. Third given data and the last, find out the angle of the surface of the plate with VP. So we have to find phi. Now let us analyze the given data first. To find surface angle with VP, phi means as the surface angle is with VP, true shape will be visible in front view. This is the first thing you have to identify. Then if phi has to be found out, then this 45 degrees is theta. Here, if you don't remember this concept that the surface angle with VP, so true shape will be as visible in front view, still you have one another hint given in the question front view appears equilateral triangle. So this is our reduced shape, which is in front view. Now, let us look at a solution from the previous video. Here, the reduced shape is in top view and beside it, the true shape is also in the same view that is top view. So if here we are getting reduced shape in front view, it means our true shape will also be in the same front view beside it. Now, in this, why we have selected position like this? In every question where reduced shape is mentioned, remember that whatever size of reduced shape is mentioned, that is 50 mm in our question, this dimension always matches with one of the dimension given in the question as a original true shape. So this is the true shape, which is isosceles triangle, 50 mm base and 75 mm height. Out of these two dimensions, 50 matches with this equilateral triangle size. So this dimension, which matches, should be kept on the left hand side while drawing the true shape. It should be kept perpendicular to XY. That's the trick. So it can be carried as it is in the second stage. Now let us draw the actual 2D solution. XY line, taking a projector, taking some distance, taking a point P dash on it. Now this distance is not mentioned in our question. It is also not mentioned that any of the point is on HP. So you have to keep this point away from XY line. You can assume this distance as per my suggestion, you can take it at least 30 mm. So this is 50 mm size we are taking. This is our base. Then you have to name it. P dash Q dash are the names. From the middle, take length that is equals to altitude 75 mm. Name it R dash. Join it. You completed the first true shape. Now, taking again some distance from XY for the top view because it is also not mentioned any of the point is not given on VP. So you cannot have any of the top view on XY line. So you can draw it away from XY line. This distance still to be assumed, you can take it whatever you want. Taking the projectors down, then obtaining the top view. Now, in our regular question, what we do, we use this step and incline it at a given angle phi. But here the phi has to be found out. So what is given to us? We have our reduced shape that is front view appears as equilateral triangle. So you have to just take this projectors and again draw 
this p1 dash q1 dash name has been changed because here the shape is changing now using compass p dash as your point and p dash q dash in your compass equilateral triangle has all the three sides same here you have these two sides bigger than this one now you have to make all three sides equal so you'll take this distance in your compass that is 50 put it on p1 dash and cut it again from q1 dash to p1 dash that is the same distance keeping it here cutting it and obtaining r1 dash joining this then taking it down now this line should be inclined it should be inclined such that it is inclined to make this isosceles triangle appear as equilateral triangle so you have to take compass now take this distance in your compass that is p to r in your compass keep your compass at this location cut an arc on this projector name this point as r join it we are not changing the names here because the dimension is not changing this is the required angle phi which has to be found out now you can find it easily then proceeding further it says one of the side of equilateral triangle makes 45 degrees of an xy line now you can take any of these three sides and keep it at 45 degrees i am choosing this p1 dash q1 dash you can choose any one you want p1 dash i'm taking angle theta 45 degrees then p1 dash to q1 dash in compass keeping it here cutting the arc naming it as q1 dash joining it again from p1 dash to r1 dash in compass this length keeping your compass here and cutting an arc again from q1 dash to r1 dash q1 dash to r1 dash in your compass keeping it here and cutting it all three sides are same you obtain the r1 dash point join them now completing the final top view projector from p1 dash and it is on this line here so this is the intersection point this should be as p1 then from q it is on the same line so here it should be q1 and here is you have the r point this is the intersection so you have r1 here join it in sequence p1 to q1 q1 to r1 r1 to p1 back this completes the three stage solution here if you do all these things correctly on your sketchbook then you will find answer phi equals to 55 degrees approximately hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe it like and share my videos with your friends thank you for watching